So I really wanted to shoot straight from the hip in this video. No scripts, no preparation, just really something that's on my heart. And I have to say, if you're an English major and you're a psychology major and you're not winning in 2022, I want to be very polite because I was I was going to say, hey, well, you, you suck. And I sucked at one point in time. But if you haven't come to the point to realize the opportunities, the resources that you have at your disposal, that the means that, that that's set in front of you right now, that the table is out set, prepared, the meal is out there. All you need to do is just grab a fork and really get ready to eat. That's really what it's about. I, you know, I was watching YouTube videos today and I was just, I, the type of videos that I like is their essay videos, their analysis, documentaries, um, these, these in-depth studies, deep dives into certain subjects. And I really thought to myself that, you know, cause I was watching some video where there was actually a guy, this guy was talking about the movie um, Red or whatever this new movie is right now. And the way he approached it, because he actually mentioned that he was a psychology major in college, but he's making these sort of psychoanalysis, psychoanalytical videos. And I'm pretty sure that he has to do a lot of writing, scripting to prepare what needs to be said, certain points that he wants to hit in, in terms of presenting his argument, his topic regarding this subject. And he was talking about motherhood and how Disney approaches mothers. But in any case though, the fact that he said he was a psychology major, it really got me thinking that I, really you psychology majors and English majors have like so many opportunities today to succeed regardless of what society's narrative is towards them oh you majored in English what you gonna be a teacher <laughs> oh my psychology major was just I bet you in psychology it was just really like sixty thousand dollars worth of toilet paper or ninety thousand dollars worth of toilet paper we we accept these insults from the outside worldview because we're not educated ourselves in terms of the environment that we're in the te technological environment that we're in in terms of producing our thoughts and our expressions i guess now in the form of content and i was also watching another video where a guy broke down uh, to just call what we do just constantly content is a bad thing and i've always thought this but the way he articulated it really hit the nail on the head in terms of what I've been thinking for quite some time that we make content that the stuff that we make we call it content because we're trying to feed this algorithm right now and we really kind of need to move away from that if you're a writer and you're writing stories you're writing novels don't call it like content call it a work of art you're spending a lot of time and energy invested into making something that's going to have an emotional impact on somebody else and to just reduce it down to just calling it content because we're like feeding this beast i think it's ridiculous but with that being said and then tying it back to what i'm just talking about right now what you're doing right now at this moment in time where you're if you're an english major like me i majored in english in 2006 and yes i was at a point in that year where i really didn't know what to do with my major i majored in english because I wanted to write. I wanted to become a writer. I had no intentions on becoming a teacher. That was that that became a calling actually later. I was working at Walgreens. I was a manager. I was like, I gotta put my degree to some use. But I, any opportunity that I had to write a resume, to write somebody's cover letter, to um, write anything, that's just how much I actually love the art of writing to be able to use my talents to help somebody else. Like I jumped on it. That's what I did. So we you have to be in that position too and i wanted to just make this video that if you're a psychology major you're, you're in the humanities period of some sort you should be crushing it right now and just youtube for example you should be writing scripts you should be taking certain subjects that you adore if you want to write if you're an english major you want to write uh in-depth analyses on um shakespearean literature or in psychology i'm really i can't really speak on psychology but you want to you want to talk about a, a famous psychologist you want to go really in depth on some of the, the the practices the mental models or whatever it goes into that you, there's a there's an opportunity for you to take advantage of that to fuse your love of this subject with the degree that you achieve to allow you to feel like you can have some success with this degree that you got and no just because you're not using your degree to go work for some company you can still put it to use by actually 
taking your talents and be able to create something and put it out there, publish it out there to the world so that you can start building an audience and starting to really have an impact on the world in a way that you just never imagined. So right now, if you're even if you're not using YouTube, use something like medium.com. If you just want to write, write things and not just content, write meaningful stuff. Yes, I understand the whole quality versus quantity argument. You write a lot so you can get better, but that should be the only reason that you're producing a lot is to just get better. You just don't want to continue to pump garbage out there just to fulfill some law of numbers. That's that's just stupid. You want to continue to just hopefully get better in the mass production of um, things that you're actually creating that you're making. But if you want to just write, do medium.com, do um, vocal news or right on Twitter. Do you use these platforms that are out and start publishing something and start publishing a lot so you can get better in terms of what the readers, the viewers, the audience is, is actually asking for. You can actually start creating your own craft and identity and you you go from just pumping out content to actually becoming a full-fledged paid artist because you're taking advantage of these you know, spaces and you're becoming a rock star. You're actually taking on the form of being a musician, a rapper or whatever the case may be, even though you're not really that, but in terms of the way that you would acquire the fame and the recognition, um, because you're actually, you're approaching your art kind of like what they would when they're making their albums and everything else, because I'm a huge, huge music nerd in, in terms of rap and everything else. And I like to study the creative process in terms of how these people make their music and that's how i always would see me writing books that's how i would always approach it so i would always see writing a book or something like that a novel as making an album each chapter being a song and what the, how's my word structure how's my sentence structure how is it gonna hit this person when they read it is it gonna resonate with them are they gonna understand it is what i'm saying just gonna go over their head is a sentence treat my sentences like a bar you know a hook all that other stuff having choruses you know, I, I would just see my writing just as, as that. So, and that's how I would actually approach my, that's how I just would approach my writing. That's that's what I'm just trying to say. Anyway, I don't wanna go too much off on a tangent in this video, but just know the bottom line is this, is that if you're a psychology major or English major, stop listening to the world. You have everything at your disposal to succeed. One of those ways is to get to writing and start producing art, start producing subject matters things based on stuff that you study and presenting it to the world so you can actually start putting those degrees to some form of use if you don't know how in a traditional sense in terms of getting out there and getting hired with the company who really they don't really know what to do with you in those regards so that's gonna be it for this video uh i don't really have another video suggestion or maybe i do actually watch the video in terms of what i said about english majors and how they could be successful today here in 2022 which should be up here or up here i don't really know subscribe to the channel i'll talk to y'all soon god bless y'all